15% of folks said that tires were the best tire for snow removal. They're wrong. Pretty crazy. I asked folks in a, uh, in a, in a survey, in a, or in a poll, I should say, on YouTube community, which I do a lot of those out there, and it's, it's fun. Um, this one I actually just posted 16 hours ago as of the time we're filming this. Four options, okay? Best tire tread pattern for snow removal with your tractor. All right, so four options, the R1 Ag, which is like what's on this Kubota here behind me, like the most aggressive, kind of like the farm style uh, tread on there. The R3 Turf, okay, like what you'd see on a, on a lo most lawnmowers that are sold like at um, Lowe's or Home Depot that you drive around your lawn. That kind of tread pattern. They still sell them for tractors too, but I'm just giving you, visually letting you figure that out. The R4 Industrial, which is the most common tread pattern that you see on tractors these days. Kind of like the thicker bar tires. And then the, the newest option out there, which is the R14 slash VersaTurf. Um, there's like a, um, a Galaxy Pro R3 Plus or something too, I think. I, I don't remember what that one is. You see it like on the 2032s, 2038s sometimes. Those are the four options that I gave out there. And that's what I said, just, just, you just pick one. What, what's, what's the best tire tread pattern for tractors for snow removal, all right? There's some things that really surprise me. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um, 25% of the vote so far with 2,700 votes, R1 Ag tires. So these tires right here, 25%, uh, one out of four folks said that that was the best tire for snow removal. R3 turf, 7%. That was the lowest that anybody voted. So almost a rounding error down to zero. R4 industrial, 15%, not very much. And then far and away, far and away the most popular, the R14 slash VersaTurf with 53% of the vote. So again, a few things, surprises there. Um, well, one, I was surprised that the R14 won by that much in this poll. I mean, it was more than doubled second place with the R1. It had 53 versus 25%. Uh, couldn't believe that it was that popular. And I agree with that. That's the tire that I would pick as well. And that's where my vote would have gone. I didn't actually vote in the poll, but... Um, and I'll get to my reasoning behind that. But another big surprise was actually that the R1s were second place. That they were, there was that many people that thought that that was the best tire for snow removal. And then the other, maybe the biggest surprise was that the turf tire came in last place. Because I actually think that the turf tire does quite well in snow compared to the R1 and the R4 in my own personal experience. Um, not to the R14, I wouldn't pick it over that. But I... That was surprising to me. So I'd, I'd be curious, you folks out there that have the R3, okay, the turf tires on your tractor and use it for snow removal, I think it would be important because I feel like there's, um, I feel like there's something about this poll is, is maybe uneven. I don't know how. I don't know how. That's a lot of votes out there to, to have an, um, an unbalanced poll, but I feel like R3s are getting a bad rap here for being in the last place with 7% uh, because I do feel like they're a pretty good snow removal option and certainly better than the R4 in my opinion. So anyway, let's get to why I think, and again, this is opinion. I am not a tire expert. I'm not a tractor tire expert. And maybe some of you out there are, and we can all come up with our own hypotheses. And that's what these kinds of videos are, are good for as well. But uh, the main premise of that poll question was just part of the education, right? So to I think you hear so much marketing information being pushed on you from manufacturers and from folks that are trying to make money where it's, it can different, differ, it can vary from folks that actually use the equipment, you know, and have real world experience using it and then can share that experience with you. So that's the point of this poll and, and other polls that I do is just to give you some, some balance in that equation. So my opinion, some of my my reasoning for why the R14 is so popular for snow removal and, and, and it's becoming so popular in general. Um, and to be fair, it is also typically the most expensive tire option that's out there too. Generally, you're gonna pay a premium to get this tire and not every size is gonna be a radial. Some of them are biased, but um, you talk to your, your dealer about that and you'll be able to see if it's a, a radial or a bias ply for your particular tractor. But it's a, a slightly, it'll still fit the same wheel as, let's just take a John Deere 1025R, for example. It's still gonna fit the, the same wheel. We'd we'll be talking about the VersaTurf in this case. Um, the same wheel as an R4, the same wheel as an R3. You don't need to get a new wheel in order to fit the VersaTurf on there. 
when I got the R14s on my John Deere 47, sorry, my 4066R, it had R4 tires on there. I was able to put R14s on the same wheel. I didn't have to get new wheels, all right? Uh, but anyways, so the VersaTurf's R14s are a slightly narrower profile. So, and what I mean by that is think about how an R1 ag is. We all know that an R1 is a skinnier, taller tire, all right? So there's less area making contact with the ground. So if you have this Kubota tractor with R1 tires on it, and then you have another identical Kubota tractor with R4 tires on it, they both weigh the same amount, you're gonna have more, a higher PSI on here because there's fewer con contact points, okay? So more weight is dispersed over the smaller contact surface versus an R4 tire where you have more tread that's making contact, a wider tire and more tread that's making contact with the surface. And so the weight that's going to the ground to get traction is lower, all right? And so that's going to work against uh, the, the tire in that manner. And so I think that's one part of the equation that you need to think about. And that's one of the benefits, one of the benefits, all right? It's a, I don't think it's a straightforward, I don't think we're getting from point A to point B in a straight line, but that's one of the benefits is that it's a slightly narrow profile, okay? And so you're, you're getting more weight on a smaller area, which helps with traction. And that's, I think, I think that's why the R1 Ag came in second place is something along that same mindset. Could be wrong, but that's just kind of where I'm going with it for now. On the flip side though, that wouldn't make sense with the R3 turf, right? So there's something else that has to come into play to try to get traction, to make it a good tire. And so that's where all the little grooves that are on an R14, which those little grooves, those little chunky areas, an R14 tire or a VersaTurf is a hybrid. It takes the other three tires in this survey, the R1, the R3, and the R4, takes the best properties of all of them and puts them in together, okay? And so you're seeing that come from the turf tire with all the little squares or rectangles or whatever that are on there with all the edges that are out there that are that are helping that tire to get grip as it's going along well all those little chunks that are on the r14 are representative of that all right so those are all little edges that are grabbing and kind of helping it move forward and propel along and the r4 tire the industrial tire doesn't have that it's just got long bars on there and that's why you saw a sipe did we sipe them no we grooved them we grooved them. It was a siping and grooving tool, but we ended up grooving those tires out. And the reason we grooved our R4 tires was because it didn't have good traction. It had terrible traction. And so grooving it essentially took a little thin strip out of rubber from all the cleats that are on there and gave extra edges all along. So as it spun, the tire spun around, it had that many more chances and opportunities to grab and catch and keep traction and move along. So it depends on what tire you get but you could either have that that higher psi i think that is gaining you know more more grip so to speak and, and more power to the ground and keeping it there with a straight r1 or you get the benefits of multiple factors in an r14 with being a, a little bit narrower profile okay a little bit smaller contact point the additional grooves that are on there too and then there's also the cleaning ability, right? These tractors all have different cleaning abilities on their treads and how to clean out snow, ice, rain, whatever the heck it is. It's, of course, it's in a high speed application like a vehicle. So I, I personally don't know how well that works. Um, we've used our VersaTurfs and R14s in, in all conditions. I feel like we've seen them pack up just like anything else would. Um, so I don't know how much truth or benefit there is personally to them cleaning out other than the fact that even when they're still full, there's still those edges there that kind of help move it along. So anyway, that's my, my, uh, how my simple mind works and why I think that the, uh, the survey went the way that it did. I'm still kind of confused. It's a conundrum for me on the R3s. I don't think that they're a bad tire, but, um, this video is to educate, not just with me running my mouth, but for all of you out there that have already done that survey, thank you for doing that because that helps out the Trasher community. And for all of you that are gonna comment on this video too, provide further insight. Maybe you didn't comment on that poll question, but you can now because it can be a costly decision to buy the wrong tires and then wanna swap them out later. You know, certain tires can't fit on wheels. Like you can't put R4 tires on here. For example, you'd have to get new wheels to go along with the tires and that gets even more expensive. So you wanna make that decision correctly up front 
And, you know, everybody's going to have their, some 15% of folks said that R4 tires were the best tire for snow removal. They're wrong, but they don't think they are. So that's fine. It works for them. That's my point. We're all going to have different opinions. We don't have to agree on it, but you can still you can still use a collective sum, I think, and see if there is an overwhelming choice. And in this case, the R14 is the overwhelming choice. And where if snow removal was the primary purpose, then that would be where you'd want to lean. And I think the R14s in general are, um, they're designed to be a great all season tire and uh, good on your grass. Again, they're slightly narrower. So they are going to be, especially on the fronts, they're going to be, um, if you're turning a lot in the same spot, more prone to tearing turf than an R4 or a, or a turf tire, but they're not anywhere near like an R1 ag. So you can drive them on your lawn. I've driven mine on the lawn for a long time. You can take them in mud, you can take them in the woods on dirt, you can use them on the snow and the ice. They're a long lasting tire, they ride well uh, down the road, they can take a load. Um, so anyway, they're a good, a good all around tire, they are a premium tire generally, but make the decision the right way the first time, otherwise you could end up spending hundreds or thousands of dollars to fix that wrong decision down the road. So if you do want to get new wheels and tires, I've got a solution for you. The cheapest place to get them is on Amazon for the tractors like the John Deere 1025R, Kubota BX, the smaller subcompacts. They've got really good prices on there somehow for a wheel and tire, where it normally would cost that much just to go to your John Deere dealer and just get the tire. You can get the wheel and the tire on there. So you can go to the our Amazon store. We don't sell this stuff on there, which is we've kind of consolidated a lot of different tractor products and, and check them out. And it's, I think it's free shipping and everything out there, but that's about the best deal out there if you are looking to get a new set of wheels and tires. Now for pretty much anything else, if you're looking for a tractor or for tractor attachments for your front end loader or your three point hitch, well, we sell and ship nationwide every day of the week. If you're not sure what to get, send us an email. We'd love to help you out and get you set up for success. So check us out at goodworkstractors.com. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.